Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another episode of How to Not Suck at Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we'll be covering General Grievous, the newest hero to make his way into Battlefront 2 and one that a lot of players have undoubtedly been having a lot of trouble with. I spent the last week really figuring him out in his current state so I can get you guys a video that should help you dominate the battlefront as Grievous. Full disclosure, this video will be covering Grievous as he is now, which I can almost guarantee will be completely different in a few months once DICE has properly balanced him and fixed his bugs. I've seen a lot of people saying Grievous is just a bad hero, which he certainly isn't, mostly due to one specific feature we'll discuss later, but he is one of the buggiest heroes we've ever had in Battlefront history, and the more you play him, the more you'll realize that you have to focus your playstyle around what works exceedingly well, while avoiding the bugs that can get you killed pretty much instantaneously. But guys, I know a lot of you have been asking me to continue remaking the How to Not Suck videos I was doing for the other heroes, and I was pretty much just waiting around for the health card update, just to see if you guys still wanted those videos, as heroes like Darth Maul, Lando, and Kylo Ren have changed so much from launch, they really aren't even the same heroes at all. I would be happy to continue making those guides, but only if I see that you guys want them. So if you want me to make more, just let me know by leaving a like on this video, and definitely by letting me know which hero you'd like to see redone first in the comment section down below, and if I see enough interest, I'll start off with a hero that gets the highest number of votes. But with all that being said, Let's get into this. So let's start off with the very basics, Grievous's health and movement capabilities. Grievous has a base health of 800, which is slightly above average among the villains, but it needs to be said that Grievous is a hero that takes damage much faster than someone like Maul, Vader, or even Kylo. That is due to a variety of factors, first and foremost, his size. Grievous is much larger than the average hero in Battlefront 2, making him a far easier target than someone like Kylo Ren. He has the same hitbox as Vader, who is also larger than most, but unlike Vader, Grievous Grievous may as well just not have a block when it comes to blaster fire. As you are all probably aware, Grievous can block, but his stamina is far lower than any other hero in the game, and he is only able to block for less than one third of the time Vader can, and that's without factoring in the focused rage. Two blasts from a burst and Grievous will be completely out of stamina, and unlike Maul, he is not able to compensate for that with incredible speed. His movement, not factoring in his three abilities at all, is pretty slow when you consider his block is so pathetic, so you cannot leave yourself out in the open with Grievous if you can possibly help it. There's not much more to say when it comes to his movement, he's big, he's slow, and he has a block that will not do anything for you under sustained fire, so let's move on to his basic attacks, which are by far Grievous's strongest assets. So Grievous is a hero that has a very unique damage output, as striking from the back will give him a massive damage boost, and he also has a star card upgrade that increases his saber damage entirely, which is something that no other hero in the game has. Yoda does have a card that increases his saber damage against heroes, and Kylo used to have one that increases damage while low on health, but Grievous's card just increases his damage at all times against all enemies, and honestly, that particular star card is probably the most important and powerful upgrade for any hero or reinforcement in the entire game, as it allows him to one-shot every single class but heavy in Galactic Assault, and allows him to take down heroes like Leia, Han, and Lando in only three hits, which is just insane to think about. Without any upgrades, however, his standard lightsaber swing will deal 130 damage, which is pretty standard and a little bit higher than most, but nothing ridiculous. This will take two hits to kill all classes just like any other hero. However, Grievous has a very unique damage multiplier that allows him to deal double the damage from the rear, meaning without any upgrades at all, he will be able to one-hit kill every class if he is able to strike them from behind, dealing 260 damage, which is overkill for any regular trooper. The catch is, once you use his Sith Train Star card and get that bad boy upgraded to purple, he will also be able to one-hit kill from the front, which will be the majority of your attacks. His standard attack goes up to 156 damage per swing once the card is epic, meaning Grievous deals 312 damage per swing if you hit a hero in the back, meaning he can 3-shot every hero on the light side, which is ridiculous. Something I have to bring up is the amount of damage you actually gain from the Sith Train Star card is completely wrong at the moment. It says you gain 30 extra damage at epic, meaning you should technically be dealing 160 damage, but I've tested it many times and that just isn't the case. If the numbers were correct, you'd be able to 1-hit kill when it was only uncommon, but no, you do have to grind out that epic to get the one hit kill effect. Hopefully they fix that soon so it's a little bit less confusing for new players. I should stress the amount of damage Grievous can deal between his Sith Train Star card and his damage boost from rear attacks is almost exclusively what makes him a good and usable hero. Without his three best star cards and a knowledge of how to take advantage of the damage multiplier, Grievous has very few redeeming qualities at the moment other than one ability we'll discuss in a minute. If you use the star card setup I suggest later, he can be incredible and honestly, if they fix all of his other problems I can see him becoming ridiculously overpowered. Right now 
now he is not overpowered at all because he has so many bugs that can stop a lot of players in their tracks. But with that being said, let's move on to his abilities because speaking about bugs, we gotta bring these up. General Grievous has three abilities, Unrelenting Advance, Thrust Surge, and Claw Rush, but for your intents and purposes, you should only pay attention to one, that being the Claw Rush. This ability sends Grievous scurrying on all fours, knocking down and dealing 130 damage to anyone that comes in his path, and this ability is fantastic. Not only does it allow you to stun heroes to get the upper hand, it deals a lot of damage for an ability you can easily activate in the heat of battle, or to just get out of any situation possible. The unfortunate thing is, this ability also has a lot of bugs. It's not as buggy as Thrust Surge or Unrelenting Advance, but once you've used Grievous a lot like I have, you will start to pick up on just how buggy this ability is and can be. Currently, if you use the Claw Rush and deactivate it while near an enemy, you will notice that sometimes you'll deal double or even triple damage. If it is a trooper, they'll just die the second you stand up, and if it's a hero, they'll just keep taking damage until they get out of the way or die. This happens pretty much every time you deactivate the Claw Rush manually, and it's actually a bug. I think a lot of people think it's like a feature that you deal double damage, but no, it's a bug, as you can just keep dealing damage as you stand next to them. I've gotten many cheap kills completely unintentionally by my Claw Rush just continuing to damage someone as I exit the ability. While this happens, you're not going to be able to block or use your standard attack or anything, and you'll still hear the audio of the Claw Rush ability as the game still thinks you're using it, which is why anyone that touches you will take massive damage. It's really, really annoying for both myself and whoever the enemy is, and the only reason it really isn't a problem is because it rarely gets you killed as you are pretty much untouchable during the couple of seconds it happens. Anyone who ever brushes against you will take the full damage of the Claw Rush, and if they don't move away right away, it will just keep happening until they die. Claw Rush is a great ability, and honestly, in most situations, this particular bug works in your favor, but it's something to keep in mind, and something I hope they fix. His second ability, Thrust Surge, is an ability I would just completely recommend staying away from for the most part. This ability has a green lock on indicator that will tell you when an enemy is ready to be Thrust Surged, which sends Grievous forward with all of his four lightsabers, dealing 160 damage and knocking the enemy to the ground if they aren't killed. This ability, in its current form, will only serve to get you killed or to send you flying off the map. And to be frank, even when it does work, it's not worth using against regular troopers, as you'll kill them much faster and expose yourself for a much shorter amount of time if you just use your standard swing. When it works, it's pretty awesome against heroes because the stun is really useful, but unfortunately it very rarely works. Even if you activate it while you're standing directly in front of someone, if they even move a little bit, it just doesn't deal damage. They have to be standing completely still, so my advice is just to stay far away until they fix this ability. Unfortunately, the same goes for his third ability, which is Unrelenting Advance. This ability was described by DICE as an ability that sends Grievous forward, blocking all damage from the front and dealing heavy damage to enemies, and unfortunately, it doesn't do any of the things it should. It currently does not block all damage from the front, and more often than not, it just doesn't block anything, leaving you standing there like a complete idiot as you try to cancel the ability before you die. And even when it does work to kill a regular trooper, you have to stand directly in front of them with the ability active for six seconds straight, and nearly 10 if you're dealing with a heavy, which just makes this ability utterly useless because if they move at all, they just get completely out of the way and you move so slow you can't do anything. This ability is even more useless than Thrust Surge. Do not use it until they change it. It will only cause you pain and suffering. When it comes to his best star card setup, which is what I'm assuming most of you are here for, I'm going to make this really, really easy for you. Beating Heart, Sith Trained, and Cyborg Rage are the cards you should be running at pretty much all times, unless you're in Hero Showdown. Beating Heart increases his health regeneration pool by 100 when fully upgraded, which is huge and makes him far harder to kill as you can just back off and regenerate 350 HP once you have this card fully upgraded, which is far more than any other hero and is quite honestly incredible. It's over double what someone like Han or Lando can regenerate, which is crazy to think about. Sith Trained is the card we described before. Once fully upgraded, you can one-shot all troopers but heavies from the front and you will deal absolutely devastating damage to enemy heroes and reinforcements. Cyborg Rage is just your standard health on kill card that will keep you alive and get you back in business when your health pool is really low. I should at least address his final star card which is called Line Up Weaklings and this card allows Grievous to deal additional damage to players he hits with the Claw Rush after the first one which will allow him to one hit kill three of the four trooper classes. It won't kill the first person you hit but if you hit two or three or even four it will kill all of them instantly and if this were any other hero with any other star card upgrades this would be a must have card for Galactic Assault but his other 
three cards are just so good, you cannot compete, unfortunately. It's a great card, but it's not worth using in my opinion. If you want to use this one for fun, just go right ahead, but his two health cards and his extra damage for his saber are by far his best setup. If you are playing Hero Showdown, feel free to take off his health on kill card and throw on Cowardly Retreat, because this gives him a huge damage reduction during the Claw Rush, and while you normally don't take a lot of damage during his Claw Rush anyways, the rest of his cards are all upgrades for his currently broken abilities and are just not worth your trouble or your time. Grievous, as he currently is, is a very simple hero to understand, and honestly, if this video is well received and you guys want more, I will probably remake this video in a couple of months once they've fixed him, as he's going to play completely differently when that happens. With Grievous right now, you pretty much need to fully rely on his standard attack and ludicrous damage, and use his claw rush to stun or escape, and not touch his other two abilities at all. I fully expect Dice to fix these bugs, and then the community will go into absolute uproar because he'll be too powerful, and then Dice will have to nerf his damage a bit because right now he is really good even without his completely broken abilities. You just need to use his regular damage which I wonder if they just boosted it like that so people won't say he was horrible because if you rely on that only you can go around three shotting people and just ignore his abilities entirely and still do very very well. Guys if you've been struggling with Grievous I do hope this helped you out and I just want to say we are now less than 900 subscribers away from 100,000 and I would love to hit that before December as that will be the one year anniversary of this channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.